Hi, it's Yash. So I'm wondering how many people know this. You have this, um, I'm talking about authentic seekers, not those who just because you have, you think you have a mental grasp on that you're not this body and so that means you're awakened. No. Those who still authentically feel there's some seeking energy going on and um, you're seeking this source that's healthy. Yeah. Don't be like the non dual oaks. Do you know, though, do you contemplate this, that this seeking energy that's very real, it's present, it's, it's here, do you, know, do you think that that's going to actually find something? <laughs> okay, this is, we got to contemplate that. It's a good meditation. It clears things up and it, yeah, it brings a, a, a nice level of clarity. Because the seeker, this seeking energy... How can it find anything? It's, it's housed in duality. It's like a different order reality. You have the dualistic self, the human construct self, or the ego, individual, autonomous self, which is good. We need that. And then you have the seeming like pure self, formless self. Even though the formless self is also in the dualistic self, and the dualistic self couldn't exist without the formless self. Yeah, I'm not going to, not going to, you know, not, not going to make a 10 minute video and just do like what's that going to do so the dualistic self because this is the game this is what we signed this is the video game you play a video game like pac-man i used to like that uh i wanted to i was <laughs> i say i was saving up my money when i was 10 years old i, I wanted to buy the whole arcade game i needed like a thousand dollars i didn't make it but <clears throat> The goal is for him to eat all the dots. That's the goal. So, what's the difference? This is also a video game. It's just more real. It's more high tech. A human didn't create this uh, uh, video game. Like some high level rishis created this, which is who we are in essence. But, okay. So, the game is for the human construct self trying to find the self. Like, where's the self? I gotta find it. Do you know that it's not going to find it though? It's like the form, the form, the human form self is tuned on form. It needs some kind of form. It needs to feel the form or see the form, no matter how subtle the form is. Just even if it's a little light or something, it needs to, oh, okay, there it is. Can't do that with the pure self because the pure self don't have any form. So how is the human self going to find the, the pure self? It can't. Well, then what's the point? What are we seeking? What's, what the hell's going on here then? If I can't find what I'm looking for, what am I doing? Do I just stop looking? <laughs> See, if you, <laughs> the mind will say that too. It's like, well, just stop looking then. But then you'll sound like the other people, the others, the non-dual others. And somehow you <laughs> just don't believe them when they talk. They lack consciousness behind their words like a tape recorder blah, 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 blah. there's no self and there's uh, I, I, you know and, and you just kind of like uh, the people that like it are generally the ones doing the same thing though then they like it because that re reinforces their delusion I'm not talking bad i'm exposing how the ego works in its subtle ways that's what's happening here so if the if the if the if the human self can't find the pure self then but yet it would be fake to just say, okay, well then there's no, there's no reason to search. That's not right either. So what do you do? You keep, you let this energy flow and keep, let the video game play. The show must go on. You let the show happen. Let the seeking energy play. You fight, you, 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 if you have a sadhana, that you continue your sadhana, your practice. If it's devotion, you do that. If it's more Advaita and self-inquiry, you do that. Do a mixture of both. You can pray, you listen to your people that you like. That's what you keep doing. Because that seeking energy, God put that in us as part of the, the play. It has to come to a natural end in itself. This is what happened to Buddha. That's why I like that example. He saw it and saw, he was full on, full on seeking. Once he saw that dead body, because he was protected in the palace for, you know, I don't know, 
20 years or something, never went outside the palace because his dad, family didn't want him to see anything that wasn't like perfect. But then uh, God had it to where he, he left. The gardener or somebody was driving him somewhere and um, he saw a dead body laying on the road. You can still see that in India sometimes, not so often. He's like, what happened? Like, what, what's, what's, why don't he like get up and go do something? Why is he tired? And the guy, the gardener, I don't know if he's a gardener, I'm just saying. He says, no, he's dead. So what do you mean dead? He's finished. Body expired. Really? He didn't know about death. He's been protected from all that. And, and his parents have nice looking people working there and everything. So everybody just looks young and stays young forever. And then the light bulb hit because God wanted, God made that happen because it's it, within the play, Buddha had to do what he had to do to wake up. But you got to know that you, you have to wake up before, before, um, man, I'm going to put that in here. You got to know that you have to wake up in order to start the process of waking up. So that's what happened. He realized like, I need to know what life's about because this doesn't make any sense. Like, what are, what are we doing? Just gonna come here for a few decades, or and then just die. I'm gonna end up like this corpse on the road. Like I, that doesn't look good. What am I gonna do? I gotta. I wonder if there's something beyond that. I started contemplating. Is there something beyond like that doesn't die? I don't know. I gotta figure it out. And so he started his journey, and he and he worked really hard at it. He did all kinds of aesthetic practices and I heard <clears throat> like tortured the body mutilated it because because he thought the body's the problem he has to get beyond the body it's like so I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt the body so that I can maybe help me go on beyond the body and excessive fasting and all this stuff and then at some point um, the seeking that was seeking energy but at some point the seeking energy it like exhausted itself all that rajas, this is the Ghana rajas, that seeking energy. That just kind of, it kind of burnt out. It's just, you're just done. You didn't say I'm done. No, you just, oh man, I'm done. I'm just done. Oh yeah, but look, there's a great meditation teacher. You have to, I can't, I'm done. There's this new yoga practice still. It'll raise your kundalini and then it'll blast through your sarsar and, <laughs> and then you'll, uh, you'll radiate and bindu nectar will, will flow and you got it. Can you just come. It's 10 bucks. can do it, man. I'm done. You see, that's done. That's an authentic done. And then he was chilling and all of a sudden <clears throat> you can say, to use a Bible quote, the peace came that surpasses all understanding. That's what happened. Because the seeking energy is done. When the seeking energy has been burnt or, or exhausted, what's, uh, our true self is automatically, it's there. It's not being covered up anymore. See, before it's like you have mud on the window Window's still there, you just can't see it. It looks like a mud pie. So you clean the mud off and the window's there. It's the same thing. What we're seeking for is already, it's already here. But that can't just be a nice, poetic, mental thing that you can tell people, including yourself. That has to be revealed. Usually when it's revealed, you don't even say it. You notice that? Things are backwards in life. Like you don't, you don't try so hard to demonstrate anything if, if, if it already is what it is. I don't go around telling people I'm a man. I don't go up to a girl that I like and be like, I got some masculine energy for you. I know you want it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't, have to, I, don't have to, I don't have to do that. Like I'm a man. What if somebody came up and said, dude, like, is your name Christy? I'm like, no, no, that's not my name. Really? What's your name? Because you have a girl's name, right? No, I don't have one. But you're a girl. Okay, cool. Like, if that's what you see, I'd probably, I'd like it, actually. I'd probably video it. I'd be like, really? Like, 
I don't know. I don't know what I'd do, but I wouldn't take it personal. That's what I'm saying. When you know that you know that you know, then you know. Let me know how that video uh, was for you. All right, take care.